Hey guys, welcome to the weekly watch list overview. We're going to be going over some plays here. We have a lot on the list this week. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to be going over a couple more as well, uh, like three to four that I have. So we have FLNT here. Um, this setup right here is very, very interesting. We have a weekly setup here of a strong cup and handle. Um, it had a move of $5 from the bottom. And if we replicate that move, breaking out of the cup, we'll be in the breaking out of the, from this area at around 580, we'll be in the 11 range, 11 to 12 range. So that's where we're looking at um, going long term. Um, so here's the cup forming here, as you can see that I drew it for you guys. Here's the little handle that we have here, strong bottom off this, uh, off the cup curling here. And you can see the, the trend line that I have here, as well as the demand zone down here that it filled. And then you got the hammer. So this is a strong setup here going into next week. I think we get a nice seven to 8% move, possibly pushing us into the 490 to 530 range. So basically 40 to 70 cents from here next week is very possible and setting it up for the cup and handle breakout within a week or two possibly. So that's one that we're looking at. Um, let me just move this for a second. Then we have BLNK. This is one of my favorites for the week. One of my favorites. We got a falling wedge here. You can see this one in the past. I just wanna show you how, what we're looking at for a move here. So we have the breakout here, we go higher. So we broke out at 24, we'll say, okay? 2384, we went to 30. So that's a $6 move from the 24 to 30. And at $24, that is a like 25 to 30% move. Not saying we're gonna do that here because we're definitely not. Um, I'm looking for a move to around 48 to 50. So about a four to $6 move there um, on this one. You see the volume shelf on the right side here, strong and looking very well. Um, you see the hammer here on this day. So the, it looks like the bottom set in at around 42.50. And I'm looking to enter tomorrow, looking into, I believe I have it here, February 19th, 50 calls. I'm gonna get a couple of those. Um, but I'm going to add the, mo the biggest part of my position in the March 19th 50 calls, which is a safer because of time. And I'm expecting an 8 to 10% move here um, this week. So that's what we're looking at here. The stop out, I think I put one here. Let's see, yeah, being 41. Uh, 41 being because of this area. Where is it? Actually, honestly, I think we should move that stop up to around 41.60, 41.50. Um, get those extra 50 cents in there. So we'll check into that and I'll, I'll uh, update that as well. Another good play here that one of my members sent to me is Sunrun. Uh, strong setup here, getting into the demand zone some, from a previous uh, supply area up here where it got resistance. We say we opened in this candle, broke above it, we closed above it. And you could see we're starting to get that support again from that past resistance here. So you can see we also hit it here on this candle and we didn't go into it. So I think bottom's in here and we're looking for a play up. We already entered calls. And let me see if I have it written down here as well. We are in the March 19th, 100 calls. I'm looking for a move of around three to 4% this week, pushing us to 89 to 90. If we get above that, I'd look for 92 um, around this area, around 92 where all this uh, resistance above is going across where that little mini volume shelf is over here. So like a three to 4% move to the, a two to 3% move, sorry, to the 90, to, to the 89 to 90 area. And then if we push higher and break above the 90, looking for 92. So next we have ABMD. I love this play, great setup. Um, this one ran with our TDOC setup. And here, oops, sorry. Here we have a move. We see we broke out of this uh, basically flat trend right here um, after the move here. Consolidation period, built a mini volume shelf, and then broke out. 
Um, so now we have two inside day candles of this bigger green. I think Monday I could possibly get a move over that area, but we do want to enter Monday and looking at the March, I do not have the contracts up. Let me, uh, let me look this up on my, on my end here, but we want to get on Monday. I want to get into a March call and I'm almost positive it is going to be the March 400 calls or, hmm, actually they look a little spready. It would probably be March 400, but right now they do not look good uh, spread wise. We played this earlier and, it, and the spread was fine. It was only about a dollar apart. Right now it looks like they're about 250 to $3. So we will watch this going into next week. I do want to get an entry. I do think we break above 354 going into 360. And we have targets ahead of 385 above on the next FIB. So not saying 385 is going to happen this week. I don't expect it to. But I do expect a new 52-week uh, high breakout of this 354 area next week. Our next play is Restoration Hardware, RH. And this one I've been watching for a long time. I've played it many times before. And we have a strong setup here. Um, riding this trend line, I've used this trend line before. And it's starting to, well, it did take a dip off it. And the 14 SMA, which is a green line here. We have a mini volume shelf above here. And I wanna see a break above, getting to that 510 level, testing that area again and even possibly pushing into the 520s, possibly going for an all-time high this week at 525. Um, I'm expecting a 4% move here. And same thing I said here, looking for a push over the 510 and pushing for possibly all-time highs into the 520 area. So we're looking for an entry on Feb 19 calls or even March 19 calls. Um, I'll send a strike later in when we get that play. LAZR. Now I'm going to bring up LAZR and MVIS in this situation here because they're both setting up the same exact way basically. This one is a longer pennant or wedge and you can see it's starting to get to the apex here. So we got about a week left, um, but it could break out any day. And if we look at a recent play that broke out of a wedge or pennant, you have right here right to the apex and it had a few days left where it was right at the end and you can see we broke out. So let's go back to LAZR, and we'll be going back to PLTR in a few minutes anyway. Um, we definitely have a bottom here around this 29 area. You know, this pennant and wedge is strong, and we want to see a breakout of 36.50 to 37. Um, and once we break that level, we should see into the 40s, and then breaking into all time high into the 48 to 50 range. Now, here we wanna look at March 19th, 40 calls. We wanna buy some time. So we got about like eight to nine weeks with these. And we're basically near the money. We're $5 out, so that's not bad at all. And the stop out would be 31.7. Basically, if we break, um, where is that? Actually, I'm going to move that stop. I apologize. We're probably going to move it to $30. So let me fix that. Yeah, we're going to move that to $30. Give it some more room. Because um, we're going to have time here. It's not, we're going to start a, uh, we're going to get a starter in this position here. Okay, next play is J A G X, Jag X, Jaguar, Jaguar Health. And this one, we have a strong, uh, I guess you could say mini flag pattern here, or, uh, you know, that's what I'll, I'll consider it, or just a mini channel in general. We had the breakout here from 50 cents going all the way up, and now we're starting a flag or channel here. And you can see the bottom has been set in from that channel, it's true to the channel. And I believe we're gonna start to see a push up due to a meeting Wednesday with their expected merger NAPO company. Um, the company is called Napo. And it's possible if we break above this 340 area, which I'm looking to do 340 to 345, we'll get over 350 and push into the 370s. 
Um, if we break out of that and continue even higher, you know, we're looking for four plus, possibly even, you know, hitting this 450. But uh, my minimum goal this week is to get over that 350 area, possibly touching the 375s. So a basically eight to 15% move. And then if we push higher, going into the 25 plus percent move uh, area. So watch this one going into next week. We started an entry um, at 313. We scalped it a couple of times and also even have it at like 320. So one to watch going into next week as well. And the conference is Wednesday. Now we have PLCR. So we just brought this one up. Oh, actually, let me go back. Hold on. Sorry about that. I forgot to go into with the LAZR uh, setup. So MVIS, um, basically same sector in, uh, same sector as a LAZR. And this one is setting up here too. It has a volume shelf right here, strong channel up. And we're holding these supports going across as you can see. And I believe this one is set up to break out further as well. Now we really wanna break above this $7 range and even get a close above that. That's where it looks like it's been uh, kind of getting stuck. And next would be around the 740, 750 range. So we're gonna look for an entry this week, um, we actually do have an entry on this one. I don't know if I have it written down here. Oh yeah, I don't. Um, hold on one second. May 21st, $10 call. So this is a longer hold that we have here. We're looking for a bigger move um, overall for MVIS. Okay, let me go back to PLTR, sorry about that. So PLTR, we had the strong breakout, uh, which everyone has been waiting for. I know many traders have been waiting for this breakout. And we're so close to all-time highs at around 3350, 3360. Um, it's very possible, one, we could either break out, you know, starting Monday. Um, actually, hold on. Let me just double check something. First of all, ES is up $4 that it's open five minutes ago. Um, but let me pull up something here. Okay, so PLTR did not gap up in aftermarket. So that's one thing to look at. Um, it's possible we get a one to two day consolidation period. Um, let me bring up an example of what I mean by that. Like something like this. So you have the big candle here and then a one to two day and then breaks out higher. Um, so that's what I'm looking at here. Um, I'm gonna be grabbing a dip probably around the 31 to 30, 50 range. So basically a $2 dip to a $1.50 dip, I'll be looking for calls and I'll be looking for March 19th, 35 or 40 calls. So that's what we're looking at for this play, looking for a one to two day consolidation lower, you know, taking a little dip, getting ready for the next move, then breaking out higher above this 33.50, going for new all time highs. So AMC, and I'll bring up BB as well, a uh, play that we still have, and those contracts are currently up around 900% right now. Um, so it's been a crazy move from there. Now, this one broke out of a longer-term downtrend. You're going to see here. And now we could be looking for a move up to around $4, 410 and or it's even possible over the next day, we could you know, consolidate just a little bit, possibly touch this 330, 335 level, and then break up again. So it could be a one to two day you know, dip period and then break out, or we could just go straight to four. I mean, if you look at GameStop on Friday, that was a crazy move. Uh, BlackBerry filed, AMC filed, as you could see. So you know, they're kind of squeezing these stocks. It's pretty, it's hard to understand what they're exactly gonna do. We could have the one to two, a uh, one to two day dip, like I expect, uh, or like I said, or we could just go straight to the four. So we'll see how that plans out. If we do get the dip, I'll be buying on the dip. I'll be buying calls and shares. Um, and lastly, I'll bring up BB before we go to Zoom. So yeah, we alerted this play around six seventy seven dollars and since then it's gone up. Um, here you could look for a dip too. So look for a possible two day consolidation period coming back in and then uh, breaking out. Or like I said, this one could follow AMC as well and possibly just go higher. 
Um, it could see 16 to 17 before it takes the next step. So we'll see how that plays out. You don't want to jump in on a, you know, basically a train until we get that dip. So just be careful on that one. And lastly, CM. So Zoom has been setting up here too. It broke out of a, basically you could say a wedge or a falling, yeah, a falling wedge, I, I could say. And um, from the highs at around 570, 600. And now that it broke out of that area and we're above it, we've held above it and we started to build a mini flag here. And we've been holding that bottom, hold the 30 SMA at the, which is the yellow line here. And it looks like we're gonna go higher this week into the 400 range, breaking out of this little flag, possibly even testing 420. So I wanna get in on this play as well. My favorites for this week are Zoom and Blink, BLNK, ZM and BLNK. Um, FLNT is another favorite, but that one is a longer term hold. So it's not a move that I'm expecting right now to get into the 10 to 15 range that I expect. Um, so BLNK and ZM are two of my favorites this week. PLTR on the dip is one of my favorites. There's a lot of plays here that, you know, I really like, and this is why they're on the list. So, you know, plan accordingly, you know, chart everything out for yourself. Look for the contracts you want. Look for the shares, you know, the area you want to buy the shares or the contracts and, you know, plan it out on how you want to, you know, trade it. If you don't like a setup, you don't have to trade it. You know, this is just my ideas. And if you, you know, like what you see, you know, do your own due diligence and see if you uh, can get in a play and make some money on it. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for joining. And um, I'll be posting this video up very shortly so everyone could look at it again. And have a great night.